Hi, my name is Olivia and I'll be guiding you through the selling engine experiment for Fizz 3113. Um, so this is the selling engine, we've had it set up already. Um, so we have a spirit burner that's using ethanol, um, this is your um, main chamber and this is what um, T1 is the, uh, is the measurement for and T2 is the temperature for the smaller chamber um, underneath. So right now we have it turning clockwise, we set up, we start the engine by just um, giving it a small kick start and hopefully it'll work, yep there we go and yeah. Um, so in part one, we'll be uh, coupling the engine with a torque meter. So this is a torque meter and this is a torque meter scale. Um, so if I connect this one over, um, it couples via friction and therefore it um, does some work and as a result, our angular velocity changes. If I increase the friction, more work is done and therefore our angular velocity changes again and um, by measuring these two, we can uh, look at the power output of our Sterling engine. So this is our motor and generator, so we're going to put it on motor mode. So as you can see, it's right now coupled to the larger pulley. The smaller pulley is the inner one in here, and data, uh, data sets for both of these pulleys have been included. So this is part two. Um, I've set it to the large pulley, it's coupled to the large pulley and what we have is a resistor in series, an um, ammeter in series and a voltmeter in parallel to the resistor. And this way we can measure the power output and therefore the electrical work that the, um, that the selling engine is generating. So in part 3 we're going to measure a PV diagram for a selling engine cycle. Um, what we're actually measuring is uh, volts against volts. Um, but you can convert those uh, voltmeter readings into um, pressure and into volume and uh, use the conversions that were given in your student notes. So in this part we have it set as a motor. Um, so instead of increasing temperature, um, we have a power source that's doing work onto the system and therefore we can reduce the temperatures and as you can see the temperature is dropping over time.